How you doing, everybody? This is Rob Chapman. This is Chris, and we're at Tommen. That is correct. In Bamberg. <laughs> Welcome, dude. How are you? I'm, I, honestly, I'm tired. The coffee is, is, is beginning to gradually kick in, <laughs> so I'm feeling a little bit better. We're going to be all right. We're going to be yeah. all right. So we are talking about this guitar right now. Yes, this is from a small brand um, situated in England called Chapman Guitars. Oh. And um, I don't know if your viewers have ever heard of Chapman before. No, probably not. This is the <laughs> Chapman It's guitars. not like that it's like one of our best-selling brands <laughs> ever. <laughs> well. It humbles me that you would say such a lovely thing, Chris. Oh, yeah. um, it's the ML3 Pro Traditional Semi Hollow, as you can tell yeah. by this little hollow vacuous cavity here. <laughs> um, shall I run them down the spec? Yeah, please. Can I also please. put it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from this um, absolutely <laughs> that kind of thing to a slightly more kind of, oh, that's nice and, oh, yeah, and absolutely. crispy. Do that, do that. Don't fill my ass though, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think the first thing to say is that I've toured this all around the world and it didn't move at all. Okay. I didn't need to set it up. No way. It was just perfect. I changed the strings twice, but it didn't move. And we went from really hot climates to really humid climates yeah, to really yeah. dry, arid climates to you know, all sorts of different situations. And it stayed sturdy and trusty. Well, and I think that's partly to do with the baked maple neck. We sucked out all of the moisture, like, like the you Skeksis personally. from Dark Crystal. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Dark Crystal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the Skeksis from the Dark Crystal, <laughs> we drained the acids from this neck. And yeah. uh, I have all the neck essences stored at home. So <laughs> you, I have the essence of a thousand necks in little bottles, and each one is numbered. <laughs> Um, I imagine you gathered all the vapors in, in Britain and uh, yes. just asked them to please do their, yes. their thing. Chapman will be releasing a... a <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's dry and then it stays that way so it doesn't move, which, which is great. Stainless steel frets, it's a really good idea if you can to have your frets harder than your string material. Yeah. So that they don't wear, because otherwise you get that little kind of, that little ding here where you play D. And then the little ding here where you play Sweet Child of Mine. Yeah. yeah. And um, that annoys me. So. <laughs> Stainless steel frets, which is cool. It's got a body, boom. It's got these beautiful locking tuners here, um, which lock, they're by a brand called Hipshot, and we like Hipshot. And then um, a small thing, but I think it's kind of a cool detail. Notice how knurled these knobs yeah. are. You see, look, yeah. the smallest of fingers on my tiny paw, and yet it will move. And um, I like when that is, when that's a, it just breathes yeah. in like that. Yeah. Um, a better because, grip when the uh, little thing is on it. Yeah, well, yeah. live, you don't want to be like, yeah, uh, uh. yeah. Especially sweating and everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, three way. Nice. You know what I want to know, and I never heard about it. Is it a, a stacked P90 or is it a proper single coil P90? It is a proper single coil Alnico 5 Chapman Guitar Zone proprietary Ooh. P90. Alrighty. Um, and they are interesting. Okay. Because they can do the vintage thing, but if you wind them up, provided the power isn't too dirty, because they are a true pre-90, you can get a bit of hum. They, they do a really heavy thing too, which okay. is great. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, thank you for noticing we did paint the inside of the cavity black. Yes. Because yes. It, it does kind of go, bah, and you look, at it, look, at it. <laughs> look into my yep. tiny black hole. It just makes it, <laughs> All right. I mean, there's a little, there's a black hole. And then um, these, <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Chris. Oh, it's all um, good. It's all these, good. <laughs> <laughs> these saddles are solid brass, exactly. which is a nice touch. Really what it does is it affects... Um, Might be funny, I did realize that you painted the inside of the body, but what I also realized is that it's not a plywood top. What you will get on even super expensive custom shop 335 guitars. Those right. guitars are plywood. Pli yeah, no, we don't do Premium plywood. plywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on this, it's a thick top yes. and it's a solid maple top, right? Yes. And I think the key to making a guitar that sounds good, I'm going to get very, very slightly technical now, is looking after the resonance. A lot of people talk about tone, yeah. or they talk about sustain. And those two things are, are really much easier to discuss. Um, when we talk about tone, it's a subjective thing, and we say it sounds this way or it sounds that yeah. way. Of course, yeah. you can change the tone with this, or, yeah. or the amplifier, or, that, or, that, or, yeah. or where yeah. you're picking. And the sustain, I mean, how long are you going to hold a note for? It's, it's a good thing to have sustain. But resonance is the key, the way the harmonic structure flows within the instrument. And we've managed that by sucking all of the soul from the neck, obviously, first of all, making sure that this was brass, and then using beautiful Amico 5 P90s from Chapman Guitars. It's a thing of beauty. Absolutely. I don't it's know what stunning. the retail is person, here at Toman. Yeah. Do you have yeah. any idea what the, um, the retail price is? Yes, of course. It will cost euros. Right. I'm really glad that it's going to be euros. <laughs> and exactly. I mean, you know, it's the perfect price for that guitar. <laughs> Did you really say it was going to be euros? <laughs> well, surprise, surprise. That's, you never uh, thought. that's good. <laughs> Give us some sounds. Okay. There you go. That's one. Let's. <laughs> Built-in tremolo. It's a beautiful sounding instrument, yeah. Paul, it could also do a heavy thing. <laughs> you can really get a modern high gain sound wow. from it. And I, I wasn't, didn't expect that at all, wasn't looking for it from a traditional yeah. instrument, yeah. but it does. <laughs> that kind of really ridiculous stuff that you don't awesome. need it to do. You won't buy it for that, but it can do it if you wanted to. It's like a family saloon that kind of goes <laughs> like, whoa! Yeah. Two pickups are really underrated. TV Jones style of Philitron style pickups being way more versatile than people think, and especially P90s. Right. Which really do everything. You can jazz on it, you can funk on it, you, you can, can blues on it, you can fucking metal it, you, you know, whatever you them. want. It's you crazy. can pee on them, you can 90 on them, you can... Uh, <laughs> You can P90 on it. <laughs> Do you want to have a go? Oh yeah. I feel like I'm, Absolutely. Not, I'm not letting you play it. Do you want to plug it into your rig? Yes. I like your expensive pedal board. I like the Pantheon and the Flint. Oh yes. Do you want to hear them? I, I think what we would be really cool is if you could do a rundown of tones that you would use Oh, live. absolutely. You, imagine this is yours. It's, yeah. not, it's not, I'm sorry. But while I'm drinking well, I'm this sure coffee. Well, I'm not sure it's not mine. While I'm drinking this coffee, why don't you run down a few tones that, that you would use? Yep, absolutely. So, first thing I would do, because I'm a pedal guy, is a clean sound on the amp without any pedals, just to begin with. Talking of Eric. 
All right, so that's my clean sound. I'm pretty happy with that. I love to stack pedals. Right. And the Archer is one of the best ones, in my opinion, if you want to stack without losing bass and, and too much mids and whatever. Right. So that's the Archer and the Pantheon. I love it. That is such a nice tone. What's interesting is that sounds like a Les Paul. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but, uh, but I don't know why it would. I mean, you have mahogany here and uh, maple, so... And it's a guitar. And it's a guitar, six strings, and you're in a Marshall. Um, two pickups. Uh, that's probably what that's it is. the point. That's probably <laughs> gain, gain Wait, the Marshall. But does it sound like a Les Paul? <laughs> it so there's a, there's this... a mid thing yeah. a hol hollowing it out. It sounds yeah. hollow, funnily enough. Yeah. But it has that round, warm resonance. Yeah, yeah. And all this um, bell-like top end. <laughs> I'm curious to know what the hoof switch is on your board. <laughs> well, you sure you want to know? I'd love to know what. That's really nice. It's I've never actually tried the Earthquake hoof. You should. No <laughs> pedals hanging on the amp. It's a lot warmer since you've been playing it. You got. You must have like. Yeah, I'm warm. Very warm all the time. Uh, <laughs> with the Archer and the uh, Gain Channel on the... Right. Dude, it made playing. my face oh better as well. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. I gave you some, some Echoplex love at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Make weird shit. <laughs> <coughs> my favorite thing to do in demos <coughs> like I said, but I've started to, I've, I've grown out of Sweet Child and now I do the Steve Vai thing. But... I'm sorry, man. We, I've been Rob Chapman yeah, from yeah. Chapman Guitars. So we are happy to have and stock these wonderful guitars um, <laughs> from just about right now. Yes. And if you would like to win a bonus vial of your neck essence, please, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can't have them. They're all mine. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>